It can be fun and impressive to play even a short Spanish guitar song. But there's one problem. Spanish guitar can be pretty complicated. I'm Thomas Michaud, and my specialty is playing accessible Spanish guitar. I'm going to show you an easy Spanish guitar song that you can learn quickly, and it sounds cool. Hang out to the end because after I show you the easy version, I'm going to show you ways to make it even more fun. Let's do this. This is going to involve both chords and melody. And believe me, you can do this. Let's start out with the chords. Three simple chords and one I'll call exotic. Not hard, but a little more exotic. Three simple chords that you probably already know. Start with an A minor chord. And now an open G chord. But I'm going to play it a little bit differently. I'm going to play the 3rd fret on the 6th string, the 2nd fret on the 5th string, and I'm going to strum all the notes even though I would normally put my pinky down here on the 3rd fret. I'm going to leave that high E open. It makes it a little more exotic chord. That might be called add 6, but I'm not sure. Let's just call it for now G. Then the good old E chord. And don't worry if you want to finger it with different fingers. That's fine. Okay, I'll put diagrams for those on my blog in case you need more help, but I know most of you know those chords. Here's one that's probably new for most of you. Listen. That's what I mean by the exotic. Look at it carefully now. It's an F bar chord without a bar. That's not a bar. What I'm doing is making the E chord without my first finger. I'm using the second, third, and pinky, sliding up one fret. Then I stretch over with my first finger and play the bass note, that's the first fret sixth string, on that's an F note, and I leave that high E open. It's actually pretty easy, at least compared to bar chords. So for that reason, sometimes people will form the E chord like this, instead of like I did before, and then they can just slide up and down. I'll leave that up to you. So one more time, this chord is an E made without my first finger, second, third and pinky. Then I slide it up. Now I'm on the third fret with my third finger and pinky, second fret with my second finger, and that's the third string. And then on the sixth string, the low E, I put my first finger on the first fret. By itself, it sounds kind of maybe a little harsh, but it works. Let me show you what the progression sounds like now. We've got A minor, G, F, it's actually F major sharp 11, but just let's call it F for now. <laughs> and then the E. Sounds good in context, doesn't it? Practice those chords a little bit, just so you can finger them easily. And then come on back, we're going to add a simple melody that sounds good. To make this easier to follow, I'm going to break it into four phrases, we'll call them. You'll see what I mean, it makes it a little easier. To start with, phrase number one. So I play the A minor chord, then the first note is that second string, first finger, leave the chord just like you have it. The next note is the pinky goes down on a third fret second string. Now over to the open first string, that's the high E, and we go backwards. Now I've got the pinky there, you can take it off and put it back on, but I just left it there. Then take it off and you got the first finger, then take the first finger off, and that's the last note of the phrase. So the notes are... First, third, first string, open, then back to the third, first finger, and then open. So to all together, it's A minor. Phrase number two. We're going to go to that G chord, strum the chord, and play the phrase. After you strum the chord, you play the open second string, first finger comes down on the first fret second string, pinky again on that third fret, right? Looks familiar, right? But now we don't go up to the high E, we go back down. And then open. Now we go to the third string next to it, and it's open. So all together is G, open second, first finger, pinky down, going backwards, first finger, open, and third string open. Before we go into the next phrase, let's just review those. A minor, G,
We're ready for phase number three. We're gonna use that exotic F chord for phrase three. So we'll play the F chord, you form that. Remember, no bar. Play the F chord. Then I'm gonna play the third string. I've got my second finger covering the second fret. Stays right there. Over to the second string open. The first finger comes up and over now. First fret, second string. Then release it. Back to that third string. And then over to the fourth string. And I still have my pinky there. Third fret. Again, F. Three, two string. First finger comes over, open, third string, and back to four. Or end on four, rather. And the final phrase, phrase number four, we're gonna play the E chord, then move the whole E chord up one fret, and then back down. Pretty easy, huh? Do it with me. E chord, any way you wanna finger it. I'll use my first, second, and third fingers. Go. Now move everything up one fret and then back down one fret. Feel free to play along. Give it your best shot for now. Starting on the A minor. Ready, go. So that's the entire tune, and it's fine just the way it is. But if you want to take it up a notch and maybe have even more fun with it, we're going to add a little tag to the end that's actually the most popular Spanish song of all time. Listen. That's the most recognizable part of the song Malagueña. It looks harder than it actually is, but it's totally up to you. What I'm doing is from the E chord, I've got my thumb playing the bass notes and my first index finger playing the high E string each time, alternating. So with the E chord formed, I start on the fourth string, bass, first note, then the third string, and then the second string. Now repeat that. Now, I'm gonna move my first and second fingers over and form a very simple A minor chord. See, it looks like A minor, except I'm not using the third finger, I'm using the second finger in place of it. That's because I don't need the fourth string. We're gonna just do the third string with the thumb. First string, alternating again. Second string. Now take the first finger off in the left hand and second string again. Now back to third string. Open. My third finger comes over to the third fret of the fourth string and alternate again. And then I form the E chord again. Start over. Move first, first, second fingers. And I'll just start with the strumming of the E. Let's finish it up with that same ending. Hey, do you 
know what the difference is between a Spanish guitar and an acoustic guitar? Leave me your answers in the comments. One of the things that makes Spanish guitar music sound exotic is the use of non-traditional chords. A lot of it sounds much more difficult than it actually is. I've created a video that'll teach you how to play three essential Spanish flamenco guitar chords that you can put together and play Spanish guitar or you can add to some of your own music. If nothing else, it's a lot of fun to play them. They sound cool. Click the video right here and watch that now. I'll see you over there.